there are so much difficulties because as a student and a mother, um, I can say sometimes I will, there are some things my friends are doing that I would like to go for because I have a baby, I have to stay back, like having fun, it's like a step behind within my friends. There are some places I would like to go that people, uh, people in the society will be like, oh, she's a mother, this and that. She's not supposed to be here and all that. <laughs> this uh, will be one of uh, the books I'm planning to write. <laughs> Wallahi, it's too difficult to manage all of them. But thank God I have some support. Uh, my husband has been my main support in holding all my education and with the kids, he is providing me a tremendous help. I'm um, um, I'm from the western part of Nigeria. I'm born into the family of five. I'm the last born, last child of the family. My name is Özgür Taşcıoğlu Güler. I am 40 years old. I am working in the Eastern Mediterranean University and I'm married with three kids and at the same time I'm doing my PhD in the Faculty of Communication and Media Studies. My basic job is teaching. I'm an English language teacher uh, teaching English for specific purposes to the students of interior architecture. I used to be the coordinator of my department but at the recently, I started the summer school and now I became the coordinator of the summer school as well. I woke up around 5.30 in the morning um, to break down the bathroom. Um, um, by 7.15, the bus will be here and she'll go to school so I can do other things. So what next for today? Huh? So what next? Now baby has gone to school. Yeah, I have to sleep for like one hour. One hour? Yeah. Just one hour. And well, how am I managing? The main thing I devote is my time from sleep. I don't sleep eight hours. I've never slept. I five hours maximum sleep is enough for me. So I before this summer school business. I used to wake up in the morning and when the kids were younger I uh, woke up at 5 o'clock just um, take care of the house, clean it, cook and then get ready for the school and when, the, um, when my babysitter comes then I left for school. Education to me it's something I have to get because Education is light. It had like a standard to you in society. So I think getting education is a priority for me. Education, education is life. Education is achievement. Education is survival. Education is vital. This is what I think. Education is vital for any human being, even not any human being, even for animals. <laughs> In order to be able to survive, we all need to educate, not only academically, but for life. 
Bahane. Beyjan sizden iyi yiyor. Bakın Beyjan'a. Bildirdi şeyini de yiyor. Now I don't have the time for cooking in the morning. And there is no need to. And I'm just trying to study a little when I wake up in the morning. I just try to study. And if there is anything left to be done, any emails to be responded, etc., I try to do those and a bit of cleaning. And then I go to work. This is how time passes. Kenja, that's what I call her. She liked everything around me. Right from from the womb, she was a very cool and calm girl. Child, when I was pregnant, I was going to school. After giving birth, I was still able to go to school because she's not the crying type of baby. I even take her to classes when she was a little baby. She's very gentle, calm, cool, and collected. I thank God for having her. Berkel Behlül Güler. Well, we gave him the names of the grandfathers of my husband and my father. So that is why he has two names. And he was born in 2009, in a February morning. It was that be hard to give birth to him. But I, yani, I was really glad. It was a big realization for me, becoming a mother. You start experiencing life in a, from a different angle. You understand that you are no longer living for only for yourself. You have to feed the baby, you have to clean the baby, you have to make uh, the baby happy. And it was a difficult experience. The firsts are always difficult. But he has a very unique personality. Thank God he's a very mature kid. Uh, most of the time, although I find him naughty, he does things that, yani, that I feel surprised with, oh my God, is it my kid saying this? Most of the time, especially when he's not with us, he is more mature than I supposed him to be. My study tourism and hospitality management, you can work in any way in the hotel, you can work as a travel agency, and so, and so on. When I was little, um, I have this mind of studying nursing. Yeah, I actually came to the island to study pharmacy, but when I got here, I was like, God, I'm a student, I'm married, I'm going to have a baby. I, I'm not sure I can cope going to that department, so I changed my department to something more easier for me. So. So I chose tourism and with God and family and friends, I'm able to put you. After 22 months, I had my second kid, Baran. Baran has been a very skinny baby. And after Berkel, um, he had so many health problems. Thank God. He is better now. People say that if something doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And I hope he becomes stronger at each passing year. I believe every baby is a blessing. No baby is a mistake. So now seeing her every day, it gives me one joy that, okay, I'm like one step ahead of my peers or my friends. I don't want her to make a mistake which I once made in my early life.
when I learned that I was pregnant for Bejan, I felt that I was going to die. <laughs> I was crying, shouting, yani this time it took more than 15 days, almost a month to accept the situation that I am pregnant. And at first the doctor said, uh -huh, it seems that you, ha you have twins. That was even worse. <laughs> We were thinking of uh, moving to another country uh, to uh, find more support to grow, help us um, grow them. Then uh, we learned that um, she is just one. But whenever I had a baby, I was like, oh, it's a girl, oh, it's a girl, oh, it's a girl. I was really um, dying to have a girl. And thank God my third kid was a girl. She is very girly. She complains about everything, murmuring. <laughs> this semester I'll be graduating. I'm an honor student, a mother and a wife and so on. So I think it's an upload for me. <laughs> if you are not programmed, the worst program is better than uh, be having no program. So um, whatever you do, you have to plan your day, plan your hours. If you do that, if you achieve to do that, you can manage everything. Even the time that you cook, the time that you play with the kids, the time that you clean the house should be divided and pre-programmed. So would you, would you choose a career for her? No, I won't. I'd rather support her in whatever she wants to, whatever she wants to become. So you won't choose a career for her? No, I won't. My advice is not to think about the things that you couldn't do, but think of the th things that you achieved doing. That is the thing that makes you to go further, makes you to believe in yourself that you can achieve more. So they should um, not forget about themselves, but plan themselves, wait for the best time. Everything in life, when you, you have determination of, of doing it, you will actually do it. Once they have the resources, the money and the determination, they will put you. Because I did, I put you. <laughs>